G'day guys, it's Ben again, here to bring you another video. This one is going to be looking at the flooring of the chicken coop. Okay, so with a lot of chicken coops, a lot of people use uh, wood shavings, which is fine for chicken coops, but um, you'll find that, uh, and then one of the good things about those is that you can compost them and you're bringing in all the nutrients from the chickens as well as the wood shavings making a fantastic product and that's that's good but they're also very expensive um, per bale uh, you're looking at roughly 10 or 15 dollars depends in some of the urban areas uh, a lot less in some of the uh, the more rural areas which is great um, that said uh, i wanted something that was going to be a lot more sustainable uh, and a lot more cost effective um, where i could use some shavings on top of that but but um, i wanted something that was going to going to be a lot more sort of long lasting. So what I did is um, I put down this um, fairly heavy duty uh, steel galvanized um, mesh which was going to be on the floor of the actual chicken coop. This part here being the, the coop itself where the chickens are going to roost at night time. Okay, uh, and that means that any waste products from the chickens will simply go through onto the floor, onto, onto the ground and get absorbed by the ground and that, um, that nutrient gets, gets used there which is fantastic. Alrighty guys, now we've got all the uh, the mesh notched out so it's going to fit inside the coop quite easily. Now we're just going to screw it down, then we'll put the layer pads into place. Righto, so that took a little bit longer than I planned it, but uh, there we go. So as you can see, this mesh is actually quite strong. It's going to work really well, even with, with maybe a dozen chickens in there. It could still support the weight easily of 40, 50 kilos. So that's fine. Now let's put some layer pads in. So these are layer pads. And what they are is, as I said before, they're silicon. They've got a sort of grass texture to the top of them, but they're hollow. so any um, wheel poo can go straight through and every so often you can take them out just to wash them. So that's what this door here is for and, uh, and these should work perfectly. Now uh, look, there's a, there's a good idea there. Let me know in a comment below if you found them cheaper or more expensive. What are your experiences with them? Drop me a, a comment below if you can. Uh, I'd really like to get to 50 likes this month, which is October 2016. So please like this video if you, if you enjoyed it or uh, got something out of this video. Thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Well, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please press the like button. If you have any comment suggestions, Please feel free to share this video with Twitter, Facebook or LinkedIn. Please leave a comment below. We're looking forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, keep safe.